Hello Aries, this is your reading for the 25th of July through the 31st of July. This is a love reading for you guys. I know you guys have noticed that the name of the channel has changed and I did that for a specific re reason, which I will let you guys know later, okay? So again, this reading is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What message do we have for Aries for the remainder of the month? What message? Seven of Wands. Hmm. This is feeling defensive for some of you. For some of you, this is feeling um, uh, just having this this feeling of wanting to stand your ground on something. Okay, defending what you believe and not letting anyone deter you from what it is that you're trying to accomplish. This is that Leo energy there. Then we have the Seven of Cups. This is all about you and what you want. Working out um, the different things that you have laid out in front of you. Figuring out what's best for you. What do you really want? Um, this is Scorpio energy here. So we have Leo and Scorpio here. I feel like you guys are trying to block out any confusion. So somebody may be trying to like throw some bullshit your way and you're like, no. Okay. No, I know what I know, and you're not going to try to tell me otherwise, okay? I feel like there's also a situation where somebody is trying to um, have you as an option, and you're not having that shit, okay, guys? And then we have the Eight of Coins. Hmm. This is about um, working for some of you, building on something, working on yourselves, um, you have your head like really focused on something and I feel like somebody has been getting in your way for a while and um, right now I feel you really and truly concentrating on what it is that you're trying to achieve. That Virgo energy is at the heart of your reading. And then we have the Ace of Swords there. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. This is coming to some sort of um, realization within yourself S something that you just came upon on your own um, just from building yourselves up this has nothing to do with anybody else this is all about Aries and what they feel like is is going to make them happy what's going to be good for them um, something that's going to like coincide with what you're actually trying to do and something that's not going to get in your way. It's like you're not allowing anyone to get in, stand in your way. And I feel like um, that's what's been happening before with you. Somebody has been either trying to purposely get in your way or they're just in your way and you, you're realizing that. Okay. Then we have the Knight of Swords. You are definitely making some headway here with this Knight of Swords energy. The Knight moves very swiftly, fast. It's like you've you've come up with something. Something has been revealed to you and you're ready to speak on it. You're ready to act on it. You're ready to do this shit. Again, that's that Aquarius Gemini um, energy I feel coming from the, that Knight of Swords. A lot of you guys may have that in your chart, that energy in your chart or this is someone also that um, may be coming in because they see you changing they see you standing your ground and um, they see you not allowing uh, yourself to be one of their choices and this person is wanting to reveal something to you guys that they don't want to work with you they want to build something with you okay <clears throat> what else do we have for Aries we have a nine of coins here. A lot of you guys are definitely single here because a seven is a single number representing somebody who has, they're representing their own um, likes and desires and, and wants and needs. It's all about yourself. Not like you don't care about anybody else, but you're putting yourselves first. There's absolutely nothing freaking wrong with that. This nine of coins is also Virgo's energy, right? So this is all about you and gaining your success, gaining your confidence and building your um, finances uh, up to a point where you can um, either be stable and secure 
or you're trying to build a legacy for yourself, like truly build a legacy for you, your children, uh, grandchildren even. There's something I feel like you guys are truly aspiring to do and you're not allowing anyone to get in your way. So if being single from someone is what you need to do to accomplish your goals, I feel like you guys are definitely up for the challenge. You're up to doing that. Okay. Then we have two of coins. This is a lot. This is mostly about money for some of you, I feel, with all of these coins coming up. Somebody's been blocking you. You feel blocking you from receiving what it is that you're, you're supposed to receive. Okay? They've had you off kilter. They've had you off balance. And it's like you're cutting that bullshit out I see here. You have a lot you feel like you need to accomplish and allowing someone to fuck with your head, to fuck with your heart. I see you not having it. That's Capricorn energy there. <clears throat> then we have this King of Wands here. And I feel like, you know, this could definitely be um, another person. Again, a Leo, possibly. Um, Leo Virgo type individual. But... I feel like this person truly does want something with you and you are really considering them. They're still in your, you know, on your mind, but I feel like this person has been getting in your way a lot, whether it's on purpose or whether it's just because that's the way they are. Um, and you guys feel so thrown off by whatever connection you have with this person that you feel like it's hindering you almost but there's definitely someone I feel like wants to build something with you but they confuse you because they make you feel like you know they don't just want you they want you to be like in a harem of people or you know like it's not like you're not a priority for them here so, and that's not working for you. Then we have the sun here. Ace of Swords in the sun is like strong revelation. Strong catching a clue. Like the clue was put out there and you guys like snatched that shit up. And it's like, okay, I got this shit now. I know what's happening. Again, Leo energy. I feel like somebody's ego is very strong here. This person is possibly has possible anger issues even. Um, but I, I feel like this person feels like they could be happy with you. They feel like they could be happy with you. But there's something that somebody will tell you, I feel, towards going towards the end of the month into August. There's some revelation. But it's something that you're already privy to is the thing. Okay, my friends, <laughs> you're already privy to this information. And I feel like this person is going to tell you something that they feel like you didn't already know. But you do. Hmm. <clears throat> and then we have the Queen of Coins. Hmm. I feel like maybe there is or has been someone else involved but more so than that um i feel like this this is you guys more so than anyone else okay for some of you it's definitely someone else here this person is going to reveal something to you okay they're going to tell you something but again you already know this shit they're not telling you anything that you don't already know but they still want to deal with you so this probably maybe a polygamist that feels like it's okay to be married not you know be separated and not be completely divorced or whatever or have somebody that they're still dealing with but they're not dealing with like that it's something like that okay but like i said more so this is you this is you and the nine of coins is you so what this tells me is you can be single by yourself and do the damn thing or you could be this queen of pentacles and be in a relationship be married what have you but either way you're good it's almost like you could give 
or take this person. Like it's not going to um, push you off your game, you know. It's not. And I feel like you're ready to let this person know, with or without you, I'm going to succeed. With or without you, I'm going to handle my business. Like, I mean, just like that. Okay. So that is what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon.